Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be an updated beauty room tour. I've been getting a lot of comments of people asking me to do a beauty room tour, even though I have done one in the past. I think I did one about a year ago, four or five months after we moved into this house. So I have done some different things in the beauty room that I did want to show you guys, but generally speaking, it looks the same. I might have organized things a little bit differently, but for any of you guys who haven't seen a full in-depth beauty room tour, now's your chance. And this is my favorite room. Well, one of my favorite rooms in the house, but this is my woman cave, my girl cave. My husband doesn't come in here. He has no reason to unless he has to like physically ask me something, uh, but I love it in here and I spend a lot of time in here, obviously filming for you guys, doing makeup, etc. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell down below. And without further ado, if you guys would like to see my beauty room, then just keep watching. Okay, you guys, so standing right outside the door, this is what my beauty room looks like. Obviously, you guys can see my lights. I like to leave my lights out. I don't put them away every time, like after I'm done filming. It's just easier to have them out ready to go. And this is what my entire room looks like. And then Mr. Coda decided to come and visit us. So first off, we gotta pay him some attention. Coda, what are you doing? I call Coda my production manager or my YouTube manager, and he decided to show up today because he knew I was recording. Coda, say hi to everybody. Coda. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, so this is the newest addition to my beauty room. This was not in my last beauty room tour. I wanted to have a desk separate from the desk that I put my makeup on. And this is a computer desk and I will link it down below. It's super easy to put together. And I figured, you know, I can have my laptop on it and I don't have to put my laptop on the ground because I that's what I would do prior to when I had this desk. So this works for me. And then I got this pink computer chair. I want to say I got it from either maybe like Wayfair or Overstock. I'll link it down below, but I was in search for a computer chair that kind of matched, you know, that. This chair right here, I cannot find anywhere. I got it at Home Goods a couple years ago. I called the Home Goods around me to ask if they had anything similar to it or this exact chair. They said no. So, this was kind of like the closest chair that I could find. I know the pink is a little bit lighter than, you know, that like magenta color that you see. So, that's the chair that I have going on. And now getting to into my actual desk and what's on it, it's kind of simple. So, this right here, I got this, I want to say at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but um, it's just a little book um, that I can like write any ideas I have for videos and anything like that. And it's just following her dreams. And it's nice because there's like really um, cute little quotes, like amazing things come to those who are authentic. So I just write down like all my video ideas and I like the little like ins inspirational quotes and sayings in here. So I just have that sitting here and obviously the color of it matches, you know, my whole color scheme. And then this this little floral arrangement right here, you guys have seen in all my videos in the background, it's on my actual makeup desk, but I was able to find the exact same one. I knew I wanted to have some kind of floral arrangement that was that pink color, so I was able to find the exact one at Marshalls or Home Goods, but they have, I've seen these even at TJ Maxx, they have them in all different colors. And then obviously right here, this is my laptop. This is pretty much what I am on all the time, you know, when I'm even filming, editing, everything, I do everything on this laptop. And side note, this laptop right here is actually like a gaming laptop. Uh, when I'm editing and the amount of, um, you know, work that I do on this laptop, I had to actually invest a decent amount of money. I think this laptop was maybe close to like a thousand dollars, I want to say. I needed the amount of like proper storage and RAM on it to be able to do what I want to do in my YouTube videos when I'm editing and everything like that. So that's just a little side story there. But I do honestly plan on getting like a white, just regular desktop computer down the road and then I can either keep my laptop on the side or just put my laptop back on the ground. I do want to actually get like a, you know, a nice like white little desktop computer to go there. I think it would just look better in general than the black laptop. So that is down the road. And then over here, I have my mouse right here. It's actually on, I need to shut it off. But when I upgrade to like an actual desktop, I will switch this out for a pink one and just keep this with my laptop. I have my little mouse pad here. That is me and my husband on our wedding day, and we are coming up on 
almost three years of marriage, you guys. It's crazy. Time seriously flies. And then this little section over here, I, um, you guys have seen this in my Amazon Prime uh, video that I put up a couple weeks ago. I got this off Amazon. They had all different sayings and phrases. So that's just the hashtag boss lady. And I love it because it's that color that matches my entire beauty room. And honestly, like, if I was to go to like Staples or Walmart, like I wouldn't even know where to look to for like something like this with the exact color and like that cute little phrase. Amazon had it. So I was super happy that I found that little um, like nameplate, desk plate, whatever you want to call it. Then this little holder right here I got at TJ Maxx, I believe, but they sell them at Home Goods, Marshalls as well. And I just kind of keep the books that I'm reading in here currently. And then I have a little notebook back there. I've got some envelopes. And then I found some pink pens on Amazon as well. I knew I wanted to have some pink pens ready to go to match the whole theme. And if you guys are wondering, this book, it's it's not anything that you guys would probably be interested. It's called The Convoluted Universe. It's kind of about aliens and stuff like that. But I'm also reading this. If you guys have ever seen that show, um, the what is it, My Cat from Hell? This is Jackson Galaxy is his name, and he's actually the guy that's on that show. So I'm reading this book. It's called Total Cat Mojo. And basically, it just kind of explains, like, cats' behavior in general, all about cats and everything like that. Because I, I want to understand my cats, in particular, Coda more. Because when we have guests over, he just, like, it's like he gets so agitated. Yeah, there he is right there. He knows I'm talking about him. But he kind of just, like, gets agitated. And um, I, I don't know. It, like, maybe it stresses him out when we have people over. So I'm reading about him and I tell him, I say, I'm going to know all about you. I'm going to finally understand you. And then underneath there, I have a printer, as you guys can see. Uh, I, w I wanted to originally put it on my desk, but I just feel like it'd be too cluttered. So it's not like I use the printer a lot. So I just have it sitting under there. So that is my desk area. And then quickly over here, this is just a lot of like random products in there. I have a bunch of products that I am setting aside for a giveaway when I reach 20K, which should be pretty soon. So I kind of just keep everything in that pink basket right there. And then over here, I have a little bag. I got this at... um. Generation Beauty last year and what I keep in here is just all empties. I do plan on doing an empties video for you guys. I don't like go through products like crazy so this has been accumulating for the last like couple months so anything that I kind of um, you know that is empty or that I use up I kind of just throw in there so that I can make an empties video for you guys. Okay so again these are my lights. I just keep them all set up with my camera. It's just easier that way but obviously when I don't have the lights um, set up. It just looks more spacious in here. So those are my filming lights. And I'll kind of just show you what it looks like from this angle over here, and then I'll get into talking about everything. So I will actually link all the IKEA stuff and anything that I can like, um, you know, find. I will link. So I have two lac shelves. This is the first lac shelf here from IKEA. They are super easy to construct and put together. And I know I've mentioned this a few times, but besides these pictures, hung right here, I put together everything in this room that you see it's kind of like therapeutic in a way um so and I would have been waiting a while to put everything together if I was waiting for my husband to do it so I constructed and put together everything that you can see if I can do it you can do it guys so over here we will start down below I have um a Barbie over there I want to actually get a shelf and maybe pick up a couple more Barbies I had one of you guys mentioned that I should get some more Barbies and display them in my room. So that was actually a custom made Barbie um, that I had made in Hawaii. So she's just sitting over there kind of hiding, waiting for some more Barbies to come and join her. Then on the bottom here, the bottom shelf, I have some makeup books. I have the Bobby Brown book. And then I think that is, um, what is it? Face Forward by uh, Kevin Aquan. Those books I just have more for like decor purposes. Then I have like one of those little pink dogs just sitting there. Then right there, I've got a I think the candle in there honestly is peppermint um, twist or peppermint candy cane from Bath and Body Works. And then I have twisted, yeah, twisted peppermint. That's the candle that's in there. Then I just have the lotion sitting there. Um, I don't use it because I just keep it there as decor because of the color. And then I just like have a random little pink cup sitting there. And then on the next shelf right here, 
I have, um, so basically what I did is I knew I had an abundance of these ColourPop liquid lipsticks and instead of like putting them in a random drawer, I decided for like a decor um, piece to just get one of these like jars. They usually had the lid on them. I took the lid off and just displayed all my liquid lipsticks in it. And I think that that is a super cute idea because originally I was like panicking when we first moved in here. I'm like, what am I gonna do for all these shelves? And I was like, I don't wanna spend a lot of money on like decor pieces and I didn't wanna stress myself out. So that was like a super simple idea and honestly, it's a organizational um, decor piece that's what I would call it and then behind there I got this um, it's just it lights up and it says create it's by like pure they sent it to me um, in a package so I kept it I believe if I press the button it lights up like that so I just keep that back there and then over here on this shelf again another idea for you guys so I um, have mentioned this perfume before it's juicy couture I love juicy or Juicy Couture's, I love Juicy Couture, that's a mouthful. This is an empty bottle, so you know what? There you go, there's a decor piece. This is Viva La Juicy. Um, I think there's a little bit of lotion left in there, but honestly, again, it's just a decor piece to fill a, you know, a space on the shelf. Then I have an empty Sephora bag there. Empty Sephora bags definitely serve the purpose of decor, especially in like a beauty room. So I have that there, I just saved my empty bag. And then over here on this shelf, I just have a lipstick holder with some of my MAC lipsticks. And then I believe I got this at like TJ or Max a couple, TJ or Max, oh my God. TJ Max or Home Goods. It's just a little picture that's pink and it's got the stripes almost kind of like this actually like almost reverse of like the Sephora bag, but it just says love. So that's that. And then lastly up here, um, this right here, I will link. I would always see this on Instagram and in other people's videos, this mug here. And for the life of me, I could not figure out where people got this mug. You guys, it's from Target. <laughs> when I was in Target, I go, oh my goodness. I didn't know it was from Target, so I will link it because I have gotten questions on it before. It's super cheap, and the purpose that it serves, for me at least, is all my makeup brushes that are randomly sitting around. So I have another one on the other lac shelf um, that you guys will see shortly. So all my other brushes, I kind of just plop in there. Then I have a card that I got from like one of my friends last year. It was pink, so I just threw it back there. Then I have, it's like a um, Juicy Couture flask. Um, it says Instaglam. There's no alcohol in it. It's just a decor piece. And then I I have a little notepad that says juicy. So that is my first lac shelf. Before I get into my whole desk area, I did want to shout out these pictures up here. I did make a video a while back. I believe it was like beauty room uh, decor ideas. You guys, this is crazy, but what I did is around the holidays, like a few years back, and sometimes I think in the spring, Sephora likes to switch up their bags. So what I did is I saved the bags and I framed them. That's all I did, you guys. So this one in the center was around the holidays, I wanna say maybe four years ago. It's such a beautiful bag. It's got like these gems on it, and I just cut out one side of it, and I framed it. And then these were, I wanna say like maybe four years ago in the spring, they had these really cute Sephora bags. So I used both sides and framed them there. So I did mention this chair. I bought this a couple years ago at Home Goods while we were building our house. I knew I wanted to have, you know, this pink theme going on throughout my room. And when you see something at Home Goods, like you have to buy it because you don't know when you're gonna see it again. And obviously down the road, I didn't know that I was gonna want another one and I'm kind of upset. So, um, but anyways, you know, in the country somewhere, this chair probably is still floating around, but by me, it's not anymore, but I love it. Um, you guys see this chair because I'm sitting in it every time when I make a video for you guys. So that is my um, chair that I sit in when I do my makeup and film for you guys. My desk is basically just um, two of the five drawer, five drawer Alex drawers. That's a mouthful. And then I bought the flat tabletop to go over it. So um, that's all it is. It's not like an actual desk. I bought these two um, drawers separately and then bought the tabletop that goes over it. And then what I did, and it's kind of like jagged over here, if you guys can see how jagged it is, but nobody sees it. Um, me and my husband, we went to Lowe's, I think, or Home Depot. And this is just, um, what is it, like plexiglass? I don't know what it is. We just had it cut so it goes over. So I'm not really like scratching the surface of the desk. Um, and then I kind of just take 
take like glass cleaner to clean it, but it's crazy because they'll, I mean, you probably can't see, but there will still be stuff underneath this. I don't even know how it gets dirty or underneath it. So um, I just did that just so it doesn't scratch up the desk. Over here, you guys have seen this floral arrangement. It's the same one. It just matches the one that's on my desk. And I think I got that from Marshall's Home Goods. And then you guys have probably seen this before. This I'm in like all the time. Granted, it gets like messy super quick. I could probably do like a declutter video of this. But basically, and actually this is all in my makeup collection as well. So I will link that video down below if you guys want to see like it more thoroughly. But basically, a lot of my everyday makeup is on these and in, in these two drawers. I have my foundations that I grab regularly. Then I have like my mascara, my lash glue, all that kind of stuff. And then some lipstick, lipsticks, excuse me, not lip ticks, lipsticks that I kind of gravitate toward. I could kind of declutter this. Um, so maybe another declutter video will be coming soon. And then I just keep some like random palettes there. Then you guys see this all the time in my background as well. I just keep both the Tartlet palettes. And then these, for the most part, are my everyday brushes that I use. So I keep them up there. And then right here, this is like one of those like Himalayan rock salt lamps. It actually turns on. My mom got it for me. And then right here, I just have it sitting randomly. I was at Sephora and I asked for a sample of the Fenty Beauty foundation. I don't know if I really care for it, you guys, um, but that's what that is there. And then this was in my video um, for my, what is it, the TJ Maxx uh, haul that I did. I did end up buying this. Um, I love it. It just says I woke up like this. So there's some everyday brushes in here and then just some random brushes as well that I keep in here. And then I have tweezers and I try to keep them clean because they always get dirty when I put my lashes on. They get like the glue stuck on them. So I just keep some tweezers there as well that are readily available. And then my vanity mirror is from Impressions Vanity and I kept going back and forth about whether I should get the one that was like this or the one that was like longer. It would have took up more space that way. So I went with this one and I'm actually glad I did. You guys see this all the time in my background as well. And it's crazy because I've owned this for almost two years and I haven't had to replace any lights. And I usually have these lights on every day. So that's just a little side note. I use this all the time. I haven't had to replace any of the bulbs yet. And then also too, I've just got some like my um, Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray there. Then I got Fix Plus there. I just always grab for those. Then I have um, a little Tarte Foundation Kabuki, Kabuki brush there. And then this mirror right here I got on Amazon and it's one of those ones that kind of like turns on, but I don't ever turn the lights on. And it was like, I feel like it was like under $10. So I will link that below if I can still find it. I got it a couple of years ago, but basically I like to have this mirror here for when I'm especially like doing my brows as opposed to like looking in that mirror. And then over here in this section, another couple other random things going on. So I have my cat ears, as you guys can see, when I'm putting makeup on, I like to put like put a headband on. So it just like, you know, pushes back my hair so it doesn't get in my face. And then I think this coin right here is from Bermuda. And I went on vacation there a couple months ago. Ago, and I don't know why it's just sitting there, but it's a Bermuda coin. And then I have some apple cider vinegar that I need to start taking again. It's just like sitting here. And then I have this little display from Impressions Vanity. It is a beauty blender holder, but I actually have that more for decor. I have a lot of my beauty blenders, if you guys can see right in there. And also too, you guys have probably in my makeup collection tour and my declutters, a lot of the things I've decluttered on this side and then my makeup collection, I've showed you a lot of these drawers. So I'm not gonna you know, go drawer by drawer and show you because there is already a video for that. And I have over here, Jesus Christ. It's just a really nice cross, you guys. I love it. So I have it sitting there. I think I got it from like one of my relatives um, on my wedding day. So I just have that sitting there. I really love it. And then I have just like for a decor piece, I have, um, it's the Relax Wine, but it's like their pink rosé. It's just an empty bottle of wine, it's not full. I just have it sitting there as well. It's pink, I just, you know, I thought it was cute. And then over here, I have a picture of me, my sister, and my best friend and that is on my wedding day literally right before I was about to walk out again it's crazy because it's coming up on three years you guys so I have that there I love that picture and then I have another um, I don't know is this from yeah this is from impressions vanity as well and this 
is not typically like everyday makeup. I just have a lot of things like displayed in here. Some blushes. I have a lot of Too Faced foundations and then some other foundations back there. And then just like some random stuff in here. A lot of these eyeshadow palettes I do use. So I have another, you know, little beauty box displayed there. Moving on to this lac shelf over here. You guys kind of see this in my videos. I did turn on my lights just so you guys can see it. I have some little LED string lights going on there and that's in the background. So starting off down here, I don't even know what's down here, you guys. I shouldn't even mention the bottom, but it's just, um, I think that's like a little makeup case from Too Faced Sweet Peach, um, like that whole line a couple years ago that I bought. And then I have like, I don't know, I could like put palettes in this thing and I don't, and um, I'm dropping everything here. And then this is just like a random picture, but it's like, it's, um, it's, it's hard to explain what it is. It's, um, it's almost like glass. So I had this like thing to get a glass picture made and that's that, that's actually like, I don't even know you guys, maybe like five years ago on a cruise, me and my husband, I don't even think we were engaged yet. So that was a long time ago. And then over here again, I just have some perfume bottles for decor pieces and these actually are not empty. They're just ones that I don't really use ever and I so I just um, kind of store them here for um, decor purposes so I believe that one is I am juicy couture the other one I showed you is I love juicy couture so that's I am juicy couture and that one right there is their gold couture and I actually lost the lid to this one so I had an extra lid from just the regular Viva La Juicy that I kind of just put on top of it so again I don't use those a lot they just kind of sit there and in the background there's like a little set some of them are empty in there but I got that a couple years ago they're all travel size perfumes it's Viva La Juicy, I am Juice, or I love Juicy Couture, and then the um, Viva La Juicy Noir. So that's like the black bottle. But um, yeah, so I just ha I kept that because I love the like color theme of it. It's got the pinks in there. So that's just my little Juicy Couture shelf right there. And then up here I have I don't even know where I got this. It's like a mini Anastasia Beverly Hills Kabuki brush in there, and then it's just like a little mini case that it comes in. So I kind of just keep that there. And then behind there, that is an old winter candy apple um spray that i just have sitting there and then this is a lipstick tower i got like i don't even know a couple years ago when i knew that we were building i knew i wanted my beauty room to be pink so i got this i believe this is from like zara beauty zara they make the lipstick towers they had ones that were higher but i just went with like the smaller ones so these lipsticks are purely for just display. I don't really use them. I've got a lot of the Milani ones in there. And um, there's some like lime crime back there. So just some random lipsticks, more for just like display purposes sitting right there. Then over here again, I have this beautiful mug just holding some of my brushes that I just don't really use. It's more for like um, display purposes, decor purposes again. And then up here, I just, I think I got this like randomly one day I was like at the checkout line in JCPenney's and I saw this and I'm like, oh, this will look cute on one of my shelves. So it just says, hello, gorgeous. Again, it's like that magenta pink. So I was like, I have to have it. Plus I love that it says, hello, gorgeous. And then lastly, this is an empty Viva La Juicy, Juicy Couture perfume box that I saved because I knew one day and the, the, I think that's like, honestly, like maybe six years old that box, but I knew one day in my beauty room, I was like, you know what, let me save it. So again, like things that like bags, boxes, they can make decor pieces where you don't even have to spend money. So I figured I'd mention that you guys, cause again, I was kind of overwhelmed and I was like, what am I gonna do to fill all these shelves? Okay, so finally moving on to this last section of my beauty room is the nine drawer Alex. And I don't have, like, I have a lot of, like, random makeup in here. A lot of these shelves are empty for, you know, when I do need more storage. So I like to keep a couple empty shelves in there. I don't like to accumulate stuff. So I've got, like, some hair extensions down in there. And then up on top is just another random picture of me and my husband if it wants to focus. I want to say that that is, like, a six-year-old picture of me and my husband. It's crazy. Then I have these, like, little brushes that I saved there. And one says keep calm and look fabulous and then this is another one right here I do not use these they are just more for decor purposes and then I have this little they might look I don't know it's kind of looking red on camera but these flowers are more of that pink 
that you guys see throughout my room. And then I just have this nice little like decorative uh, vase. So I have those sitting in there. You guys typically, I think, see these in my background when I'm filming anyways. And then last but not least over here, this is Bazaar's 150 years of fashion or the best fashion moments. And I got this book at TJ Maxx for like six or seven dollars and it was originally like 50 or maybe it was like nine dollars but um so i thought that that was cute it's got like the pink on it and you know it's just a cute little decor piece books make nice decor pieces so that is what that little section looks like over here and this is what my beauty room looks like you can ignore the lights and then i have my little desk over here and i do eventually plan on maybe getting like a mirror to go on the wall over here uh, down the road but other than that I don't really think I'm gonna kind of change up much but when I do I can do another tour or even just do a beauty room tour on a yearly basis that's kind of what it's coming out to be hey guys so that is it for this beauty room tour let me know in the comments down below do you guys have a beauty room what colors do you have incorporated in it and what other you know decor pieces do you have in your beauty room or in your bedroom do you have a small section that is like beauty related let me know what you guys do what um, decor pieces you have what color tones I'd be interested to find out but anyways that is it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video bye